Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Jason. In today's video, it's a video request. I got a few of you guys asking me that is there a way to permanently remove a zone? You no longer want to do bypass. And the reason why you want to do this is if you had got a wire that got damaged, you removed a zone from the panel and you have to keep hitting the bypass button in order to get the alarm to work. So in this video, I'm going to show you two ways how to permanently remove a zone. Okay, so the first option is for the people that know their installer's code, and this option is for you. So first thing you want to do is you're going to do star 8 installer's code. If you know it, great. If you don't, then you got to go right to option 2. And default is four fives. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so once we get into this section, what you want to type in is two, zero, two. Okay, and so what you see here, the one to eight, it's simply one to eight right here on your board. So each number here represents your zone numbers. So in my case, I want to get rid of zone five. So I'm going to press five say that's the zone that uh, is giving you issues or that's the one you want to remove if it's let's say it's a higher number you're getting like zone 16 you're gonna have one of these so what happens is zone 8 is here even though it says 1 to 8 here this automatically that one is a 9 10 11 12 all the way up to 16 and if you have more than 16 zones, you're going to have to do that again. But you will need to find out which one of these represents the zone that you want to remove. Okay, so if you do have a zone, I'm just going to exit out of here. So let's say your zone is between 9 and 16. What you're going to do is 2, 0, 3. There's nothing here. Yours will show... A 1 to 8 simply because I do not have a zone expander connected to this board right here that's why it's all blank but yours will have a zone 1 to 8 keep in mind like I said it'll be 9 to 16 so if your zone is between 17 and 24 you're gonna type in 204 for the next batch of zones and this goes so on and so on. So 205 will be 25 to 32. Okay, so that's one way of bypassing it. So now I'm just going to remove this zone 5. And as you can see, the check mark is here. If I click here, it'll show me no zones open. So I'm just going to go back into there really quick. So star 8, 5, 5, 5, 5. 202. If I put the 5 back on, and now I'm just going to hit pound to exit, and now it should show me there's a zone open. Zones open, corner motion, which is my zone 5. So this is where, just exit out of here. So now these are for the people that do not know their installer's code. So the other option is you're going to need a little jumper. Just like that. And what you want to do is you're going to put this in zone 5 and in the common. The COM. So I'm just going to loosen this. And as you can see, the check mark came on right away, telling me the zone is closed. Okay, so you got that jumper in there, and now the zone is closed. Now it's ready to be used again. So if you guys don't know your installer's code, this is your best option. If you guys have any of these resistors in your panel, or you put this jumper and it's still showing you zone open, Chances are you need one of these resistors. So what you do is instead of using this jumper, 
you're going to use the resistor as the jumper. All right, guys, so those are your two options. So if you guys want to completely remove a zone, you no longer want to hit the bypass button anymore, you're fed up with that, try these two options. It should fix your problem. If you guys have any questions, please give me a comment below. If you like this video, thumbs up. Please hit that subscribe button. And like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.